some people MJ back with another video and is it hot it is so hot it's unbelievable sneaker wise I got one two three four packages to get through today I apologize about my slightly husky voice got a bit of a sore throat so hopefully that won't hinder me too much first parcel SNS I know what this is is a little bit neater. Oh, nice enough. It's got a really strange feeling. It feels like it's fabric coating. I've been dying to get my hands on this. This is the Wish Sneaker Exchange Sneaker Boy and Adidas Consortium Pure Boost Glow in the Dark. It looks absolutely mental. It looks so nice. I don't know how I'm going to demonstrate it to you guys really. I can film it on my camera phone what it looks like when it's all glowing. I've seen some pictures which I'll show you guys now online. They look incredible. These are the Pure Boost SE. They are beautiful. I also got, I did two variants. This is the other one. This retailed at 140 on SNS and these were about 120 I think. In my opinion, I like these ones a little bit better. I'm a big fan of the Climacorn one. So this is the Consortium Climacorn one. Wish, Sneaker Exchange, Sneaker Boy, Adidas. I think that's absolutely mega. I love the lines that it's got going through. It just looks so good. On the one, We've got the consortium sneaker boy logo on the other we've got the wish logo you've got the metal rivet in the top as well on the one tongue saying wish on the other tongue saying sneaker boy and it's the same on the pure boost as well we've got sneaker boy wish it's like this terry toweling material you've got a clear bit through there that comes through that also glows in the dark if i was pushed into a corner i'd probably like the climb come one a little bit better but that's not to say that the pure boost isn't amazing like i said i'll show some pictures up so you guys can see what they look like glowing in the dark and they're both amazing sns have still got the climb come one in stock i suggest you go out and buy it it would just look awesome in any collection the pure boosts have completely sold out unfortunately the only places you're going to get those are scalpers on ebay kind of upsetting but that's how it is i'll leave as always the information down below that you guys can possibly get this from now from adidas you guys know you know what's in the black box wow i didn't think i would like these this much how nice is that the adidas nmd xr1 og colorway i think that is fantastic that is really nice. Anyone who watches the channel knows I am still undecided on the NMD. I do like the XR1, which I think I've said it a million times, but I'll say it again. I think this is the shoe Adidas wanted to originally put out. It's got the Prime the Upper, which is just unreal. It's so stretchy. You've got this foam. I thought it was faux leather, but you've got a little leather patch on the tongue. You've got the XR1 lace support system, which isn't attached all the way through the shoe. It's only attached at the bottom. So when you do the laces, up, it closes in on the shoe. As you tighten the laces, it tightens around the shoe. So it gives you more support. It was a lot better than the little strip that you had on the original NMT. I do like the XR1 heel pull as well. You can detach and pull it up tight. I think that's really nice. I'm not going to go over too much about the XR1. I've said it all before. I thought I'd show you guys that. This sparks my interest a little bit as it was the OG colorways. Strangely, this, I don't know why, wasn't a sellout, hasn't sold out, and it's still readily available in a lot of places. I'll stick the details down below for you guys to check them out. I got mine from Adidas UK, and I think they still have all sizes in stock, or they did at least when I recorded this video. Again, I'll put all the details down below for you guys to check Check it out. Now, a budget sneaker. Standard blue box. So, nothing special. That is nice. That is nice. 
is the likes. It's got a bit of a strange name. It's the FLB, personally for the money. Some places it's 50 pounds, other places it's 60 pounds. I think for the money, that is an awesome looking shoe. It's got such a retro vibe about it. It's also cloud foam as well. I don't think it says it on the website, but it is cloud foam. So you have got that extra support in between nothing and boost. You've got a cloud foam in the middle. It's very nice, very supportive, very spongy. If you're an athlete, you're definitely gonna like it. It's also got Adidas Ortho lights in the sole, so it's like memory foam, a nice little extra. The sole is awesome, I love it's kind of serrated 80s style, I think it's really nice. Quality wise, it's very well made for the money. You've got an 80s style tongue, it's very thin, and you've got this cool system on the tongue whereby a lot of people wear their laces inside the shoe. So you can stick the lace through the actual patch on the tongue, so you can do it up internally, so you've got nothing showing on the outside, which I think is absolutely genius from Angus. They should do that on most of their shoes, because no one likes having their laces out that wide area. I thought I'd just show you guys what's out there for the money. For £50, this is an absolute bargain, the FLB. And it comes in three colours, red, blue and black. Absolutely awesome. Officially, it's a woman's shoe. I mean, there's no love hearts, there's no flowers, there's no pink on it. So, real men can rest assured and just buy the blue or black. Really stylish. And I love the cheese wedge design. Absolutely beautiful. So that's just a quick video, guys. I thought I'd show you what came in this morning. Like I said, I've got a bit of a sore throat, so I won't go into it in too much detail. I thought I'd have to show you guys what my mind's got. I'm so excited. Overall, though, no, hope you like the video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up. Helps me, help you. And if you like this kind of stuff, you do, subscribe.